Shalom Ubracha, how are you doing? I really, really hope that you're doing well. I really, really hope that you're happy and that you're finding good points in yourselves. I know that it's not a, always the most easiest thing in the world to recognize the beauty of your soul. It's a, I like to to try to find the real tra taste of, of an orange before you, without peeling it, without taking off the peel, it's, uh, it's kind of hard, right? You can bite the orange from outside, it will taste um, not the best. It will be hard to, to find its sweetness exactly like that sometimes it's hard for a person to recognize the real fruit of his being that is the soul the shine and the light of of his spirit uh, through the coverings the the um, the outfits the husks of his physicality that in many ways blocking the light and almost does not leave a track of spirituality. <laughs> we need to take life with a sense of humor, with a smile, in a positive way. I uh, I wanted to to remind you of a certain uh, midrash, an ancient um, story that is telling about the days of creation. That. Um, we know that every one of the powers of nature has an angel that uh, is in charge of it. So there is an angel of the sea, the minister of the sea, and the minister of earth, whatever, fire, all the, all the powers. And um, every nation has their minister, and also every animal has their angel that is... Um, supervising on it and taking care of it and helping and providing all its needs and uh, when the creator said told the the verse we kavuhamaim that all the water should go to one place so immediately in in the nature of the of the ground of earth be, there was valleys suddenly valleys um, became and the water started to run down from the hills into the valleys and the creator created all the seas the oceans and the lakes and ponds and, and rivers now when that happened so the minister of the water the angel that was appointed on on the water was uh, was not happy because the water they have their nature of wanting to rule and to like the waves that are always um hitting the 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 shore trying to to conquer the earth to cover it with storms with uh, with with rains with waves and and on so there was a huge rage in the water because of that decree that all water is supposed to go back to their holes to their valleys and uh, and when when the minister of of the sea decided to to fight to fight against that decree so the 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 creator said that the sand he will be the border to protect from the water to climb back and to wash the world so the minister of the sea was laughing he laughed he said those grains those small um uh, grains of of sand those small uh, pieces of sand uh, 
they will they will stop us the smallest wind in the world can blow the sand from one point of the universe to the other and when all those small parts of i think you say grains no grains how you say of of, of the sand those small um pieces of sand when they heard that that the sea now is mocking them is laughing at them so they became very very scared they didn't know what to do with themselves because of of the power of the sea that really the smallest wave is able um thank you thank you cherry for your wonderful help grains of of sand So when they heard those tiny grains they heard that the sea is planning to wash them away so they were very very scared terrified because of the strength and power of the water against them when they're so small and tiny and weak but then the largest grain of his brothers stood up and said to all the rest of the sand grains and he said like that listen to me my brothers it's true that we are very very small every individual of us every one of us we're very very tiny but if we're going to love each other and if we're going to attach ourselves to each other and if we're not going to move away from each other's side there will be no power in the world that will be able to reject us and when the sea heard that and he realized that he's facing billions of united grains of sand it weakened his power it took away his power from him and he realized and he said to to the water look how wise is our creator that he chose wisely those grains of sand to hold us back because the power of their love is so enormous and even though that they're so small and tiny when they are united with love there is no one that can break them apart so I thought that this is a great lesson for us that every one of us we feel so broken we feel so low we feel so scattered and everyone is suffering in his own exile and one is in the holy land and one is in uh, in uh, la la land and one is in the US and one is in Europe and one is in the big city and one is in the village and one is alone in his house and one is trapped in his own house with his family and doesn't find a way out to to find himself and one is stuck in business and one is stuck in traffic and one is looking for himself and find this finds it hard to remember his own name and one is on LSD and everyone is stuck with some problem so in reality we're going through so 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 much but we must remember that we're not alone we are not alone and we must unite and hold ourselves together and it's in our power to do that and our power is spiritual our power is not physical we cannot hold hands now here i am i can barely wave to you how can i hold your hand only the fact that i love you and that's the reason i opened my phone and decided to make this wonderful live and only the reason that you love me back and you decided to open that notification that ring and to listen to my words and to hear this talk makes us friends makes us bond and the power of our friendship is spiritual once maybe 17 years ago when my wife was still pregnant 
with uh, our first child, O Avraham, um, we went to a certain synagogue in a city called Batyam in the Holy Land of Israel. And there was a very nice rabbi over there. His name is Rav Shlomo Ofer. And he was making some kind of tikkun late at night. People would come uh, to listen to his class. We assumed, we thought that it's going to be a class. We didn't know what really going to happen over there. But we went, my wife and I, and another couple of friends that... Uh, introduced us to this uh, rabbi, to this nice rabbi, Rav Shlomo Ofer. And um, when we just came into that place, they were singing a song. They took a verse that 17 years ago, my wife and I, we didn't even knew that verse. It's one of the verses from Shacharit, from the morning prayer that we're saying every morning, but back then, 17 years ago, we couldn't recognize that verse and we didn't know the words of it. And they, my, my quicking seat, my chair is quicking, is excited from, uh, from the song that you're about to hear. So, um, so we heard them singing and we just went in and listened to that song and we said to ourselves, okay, like they're singing now and soon the class will start or whatever. And they did not stop singing for over one hour and a half, almost two hours. They were just repeating that verse over and over and over and over and over and over and over for more than one hour and a half for sure. I'm not sure when they started because when we entered to the synagogue they were already deep in it and I will uh, I'll tell you the verse the verse is Hoshia et Amecha Uvarech et Nachalatecha Urem Venasem Ad Haolam the verse is saying Hoshia et Amecha redeem your nation your people Uvarch et Nachalatecha and bless your land Uem and the Creator he is the shepherd, so lead them Venasem and rise them, lift them, uplift them, Adaolam to eternity forever. Hoshia et Amecha Uvarch et Nachalatecha Uem Venasem Ad Haolam and lead them for good forever. So I wanted to sing this song with you and you can always go back to this video and remind yourself of this wonderful um, tune and music and way of singing it. And I want to let you know that it's a very powerful tool for a person when he's praying uh, to sing his prayers because sometimes, and to repeat them while singing, because sometimes you just like, there is a verse, okay, move on, okay, like, you're in such a rush that you don't understand what you said, and you cannot realize the power of that verse, and you couldn't say it, you didn't say it with the right intention, because of the speed, and because of the pressure, and because that you already passed to the next one, that you find it also hard to understand. And this is why it's important to slow down and to hold your breath for a second and to understand what you're saying. And even to say less verses, but with more intention, is way more powerful than to run and speed up to complete all the words that are written without understanding at all. What are the treasures that are waiting over there? So again, I'm going to tell you the words of the verse, and then I'm going to sing it to you a few times, and then Bezat Hashem, you'll be able to to practice it. And it doesn't have to be that verse. It can be any other verse that you like, and it doesn't have to be with that music. It can be with any music that you like. And just keep on repeating and repeating and saying it over and over, and every time with it 
deeper meaning and with a more pure uh, intention and thinking about new ideas and aiming to higher concepts and ideas and praying to a higher level of the creator that you realize and and understand and one time you can pray for your family and one time for your community and one time for your tribe and one time for the 12 tribes the general population of the world maybe even like you you can ask from the creator whatever you want and to aim your heart with the most purest intention and and it's better to climb and to rise slowly slowly step by step level after a level one floor after the other and not to think to yourself all right i finished praying like no i i said it great you missed the intention the reason why the creator gave you that verse is for you to connect yourself to it to every verse to every section of the prayer so again the verse is saying hoshia et amecha redeem your people save your people or your nation uvarech et nachalatecha and bless your land the holy land the land you can aim on the land of israel you can aim on your house you can aim on the on the world on the globe like whatever you want and lead them like the shepherd that takes his flock and rise them, lift them, uplift them forever, for good. Okay? And I'm going to sing it to you, for you to learn. Hoshia et amecha. Uvarech et nachlatecha Urem, 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 urem venasem Urem venasem ad haolam Hoshia et amecha Uvarech et nachlatecha Urem, 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 urem venasem Urem venasem ad haolam Hoshia et amecha, uvarech et nachlatecha, urem, 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 venasem, urem, venasem ad haolam. Hoshia et amecha, uvarech et nachlatecha, Urem, 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 venasem, urem, venasem, ad haolam. Hoshia et amecha, uvarech et nachlatecha. Urem, 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 venasem, urem, venasem, ad haolam. Hoshia et amecha. Uvarech et nachlatecha Urem, 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 urem venasem Urem venasem ad haolam Hoshia et amecha Uvarech et nachlatecha Urem, 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 urem venasem Urem venasem ad haolam Hoshia et amecha, uvarech et nachlatecha. Urem, 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 urem venasem, urem venasem ad haolam. And you can continue, and you should continue, and you should sing it over and over, and you can take another verse, and another verse, and just sing it, and repeat it. And take your time for that. You're not in no rush. There is no time like the present. Present time. If you want to connect yourself to the Creator, so the time to do it is in the present time. Take a certain time that is clear for you, that you're able to serve in it, that you're able to connect yourself in it, and do it. Do it through learning, do it through mitzvot, 
do it through prayer, do it through singing, do it through dancing, do it through cooking for Shabbat, do it through talking to a friend, do it through meditation, do it through walking in the gardens, going to watch the sunset. Breathe. Connect yourself in the present time to the Creator and feel His existence. Connect yourself to His being, to the fact that He is now with you, just alive. Connect yourself to Him from within. And music is the highest world of them all that is known to us. And prayer is such a high way of connecting ourselves to the Creator. When you connect those two things together, you're holding a very sharp weapon in your hand that you can bring down wonders down to earth with it from heaven. So believe in yourself and make wonders. And let's sing it again. And then let's share the video with the rest of our friends and families and all our loved ones. Thank you. Hoshia et amecha, uvarech et nachlatecha, urem, 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 venase, murem, venase, mada olam. Hoshia et amecha, uvarech et nachlatecha. Urem, 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 venasem, urem, venasem, ada olam. Hoshia et amecha, uvarech et nachlatecha. Urem, 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 venasem, urem, venasem, ada olam. Hoshia et amecha. Uvarech et nachlatecha. Urem, 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 venasem, urem, venasem, ad haolam. Hoshia et amecha. Uvarech et nachlatecha. Urem, 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 venasem, urem, venasem, ad haolam. Hoshia et amecha, uvarech et nachlatecha. Urem, 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 venasem, urem, venasem ad haolam. Thank you. The world is not existing. Because Olam Milchon Elev, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world called Alma de Shikha, world of light, is just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. Thank you.